Hello and welcome to our channel. And today we thought for fun we'd show you how to uh, clean and plant and grow a pineapple all at one time. So this is Del Monte pineapple. It's, it's turning yellow really quick because it's almost green when we brought it home. I think it's two days ago now, but it's still. <clears throat> One important thing when you go, if you go and get one of these to grow at home, make, try to find you one that's got a fairly straight, you know, top on it to start with, because that's what you're going to grow your new pineapple from. So, first thing I want to do is cut this top off, and you will come down and leave about, you know, maybe a half an inch from from this base here. Put it down about half an inch, because you don't need a whole lot in the ground. And this is just like that. Look at that. Ain't that pretty pineapple? Now I'm just going to set this over here in the sink out of the way for the time being. And now you cut the bottom off. And when you cut the bottom off, I reckon you just throw it away unless, I don't know, maybe you could plant the bottom and maybe you'd have some upside down pineapples for upside down cake. <laughs> you know, so, hey, seriously, throw it away. <laughs> okay, now you just set it up on one end or the other, whichever one it sets up best on. <clears throat> and start coming down through here. Now you want to stay as close to the pineapple as possible and still get most of these things off you know and then you just go all the way around the pineapple with it like this okay now that you got all that peel off <clears throat> have to go up here and start getting all these out and actually most of these things runs in a straight line like this so you just cut them in like that and just make you a little V cut it comes out just like that I'm trying to make sure like I don't know if you can see if you're not seeing little black specks there that's a seed try not to leave that because you're not going to want to eat that, you know, so try to pick out as many of them as you can. You're going to miss one every now and then, but... Let me tell you, the ones you leave, your wife's going to get them and she ain't going to be happy about it. And you know how that goes. If she ain't happy about it, you ain't going to be happy long. <laughs> Alright, and then you just keep going like that until you get all the way around doing this. Okay, now after you got all those little seeds and stuff off like that and trash cleaned up, and you clean up your cutting board a little bit, you come up here to the very center of this and you try to go straight across, straight down. Just like that. And go ahead and turn it because you want to do the same thing again right in the middle of it and straight down just like this alright now you should be right in the middle of your core there now you just turn it like this and you can see where your core is at you just want to get on the back side of it a little bit and come straight down with it like that then you want to just start cutting slicing you some pieces off little spears I think I call them I call them little strips of pineapple you can come as thick or thin as you'd like to have them and then you put it in your container 
Oops, that's the core. I don't want that in there. Whoops. Well, a piece broke, so we've got to sample it anyway. Mmm. That was so sweet. Mmm. bunch in over here. Well, that'll be my sample piece. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you ever do this and it'll be hard for you to go back to canned pineapple. Because there's just no comparison. Now, I never checked it exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's a whole lot cheaper this way. <laughs> and last but not least, now that you've done this a time or two, you can just about tell with the way the knife is, uh, how much force you have to put on the knife, whether you're on the core very much at all. Yeah, I ain't gonna make it all the way down, I don't think. <laughs> nah. I'm close. And if you got any kids around, you can always give them the sides of this core and tell them to nibble on it. Because where you don't get all the way to the, to the core, that's good nibbling right there. Mm -hmm. Of course, I got pretty close on this. <laughs> yeah. Doing good to give the kids that. That'd just be bitter core for them. So, anyway, that's the way you do that part. And now we'll take this thing outside and I'll show you how to plant it and what happens when you do. Okay, now things came up yesterday. I didn't get to <clears throat> plant this pineapple, so we'll go do it today. And so, in the meantime, overnight, I just set it down in a shallow bowl of water so it wouldn't dry out. That's important. Don't let it dry. If you can't do it right away, just make sure it stays moist so it can't dry out. And so, we'll plant it just about right where it's setting. So I've got this little tool here. And that's about all there is to it, really. Now, I'll show you the ones that's already planted. I only have two others at the time. Now, we planted this one about six months ago, and you see how it's coming on up. I mean, it's got a few little dead prongs or leaves or whatever you call on it, but it's going to do all right. Now, here's the other one. This one's been in the ground here for about a year and a half. And you see here's a little pineapple starting to come out. Here's the top of it. And so, now that's only been going on for about, I don't know, two or three weeks maybe. It started coming up. And so, the thing, the thing you got to remember, though, when it starts getting a little bit bigger than this, you have to start sp spreading some... Uh, stuff to keep the animals away from it, around it. 
Okay, now this is what I've been using, this Tomcat repellent, and animal repellent is what it says. And so, it worked pretty good. Last time I had pineapple, I, I got to uh, cut it off and eat it So before the animals got to it, so it must be working. So, anyway, that's going to about do it for this little video here. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. I hope you'll get your pineapple and try to grow it one time. It's a lot of fun to watch it grow. It might take a little time, but it'll, it'll get there. So until next time, y'all have a real good and safe day. Don't forget to wash them hands. And stay away from everybody. Stay home. So until next time, goodbye now.